Okay, did you ever just have one of those days when nothing seems to go right? And no matter how hard you try, it just seems to get worse and worse? <laughs> well, apparently, that's the kind of days I've been having. Yeah, I said days, plural. Thank you very much. <laughs> because I started filming my Halloween episode last night. And boy, was it fun. And then, well, I'll let you see the results, or at least the beginning, because I hit the pause button at some point and never unpaused. So my whole Halloween uh, episode is, is non-existent because it was on pause the whole time. And I didn't discover it until I was just about done with Jack. So here's what I had of Halloween. Enjoy it. Hello everyone, the Halloween event is in full swing. And before we see any of our neighbors, maybe we should get in our first costume. Oh no, too late! <laughs> <laughs> How nice that we ran into each other during the Halloween festivities! <laughs> Be careful though, if you don't give candy to the folks out tonight, they'll play a trick on you. So here we go. Trick or treat. Could I have some candy please? If not, I'll play a trick on you. Here, have this. I hope I've got my candy in my pocket. Thanks! Getting candy from you is the best! <laughs> She's dressed up like a mummy. You gave me candy, so I'll give you a spooky table setting. Grr. I hope tonight brings us both lots of Halloween fun. Okay. <laughs> well, Fauna sure jumped on the bandwagon there before we even had time to get our costume on. Oh, Filbert's at home. Why is he not out? Let's go knock. Let's go knock on his door and see what's going on. It was a fun night, though. And now we're up here on Dina's property where she lives with Dora and we have wiped out all of the Halloween decorations. Yay! And I think um, with this area back here in the corner where we had the, the candlesticks, I think we're going to make this the garden. Um, so we'll have to be moving uh, the t potatoes and tomatoes over there. And I think we're also going to get the wheat that's over here in the campground and we'll move that up to the garden too because it's big enough for more. So we'll be doing that. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot in my pockets. I'm not sure how good my shovel is, um, but we'll, we'll get that taken care of. All right, so We've been working on the orchard a little bit too, and I replaced my archways with the ancient ruin archways, and I'm not sure I'm happy with it. Um, hello, CJ. Let's see. One of them should be over here. Yes. Yeah, the pathway needs to be redirected. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm happy with that. Anyway, we've taken... Oh, there's Camel Frog. All right, kiddo. Got an update about the situation at my domicile. Okay, I didn't know there was a situation, but go ahead and spill it. Yesterday, I rolled up the old sleeves and hunkered down and finally did some cleaning. 
Long story short, the place is now suitable for habitation, oh, and clean enough to host a guest. I think I know where this is heading. I'll come visit. Well, let's get a move on then before you change your mind. Okay. Come on in, make yourself at home. Oh, camel frog. Oh, I can see you've cleaned. Yeah, um, everything's camouflaged. You wouldn't be able to see the dirt anyway, <laughs> right? I see you're admiring my stylish old fashioned alarm clock. Well, it's more than just a timepiece. I got it as a conversation piece. Well, it worked. Take your time and relax, okay? Not much I can offer in the way of hospitality. Well, it's a nice place, Camo Frog. Can we go now? We were, uh, kind of busy. I know you look so happy to have a visitor. And we're going to try to sneak out of here. Really? You're leaving already? But you just got here. Come on, stay a while longer. Uh, wait, you're leaving? But we've barely had a chance to talk. Shoot, we haven't even bantered. Oh, boy. We're trapped. We're trapped forever. <laughs> Let's banter, then. So what do you think of my stuff? If you see anything you like, I might sell it to you at a discount. Hmm, now I'm good. Can't get on board with anything, eh? That's alright. My taste ain't for everyone. That's true. Let me know if you see anything you want to buy here. Might sell it to you cheap. Uh, I'm good. All right, so you got me over here. But you're not interested in anything, huh? Guess maybe that's a sign. Well, if you got me over here for a yard sale, I think uh, you got me over here under false pretenses. See y'all. Really? You're leaving already? But you just got here. Come on, stay a while longer. Uh-uh. Hey, you walked all the way over here. You might as well stay a spell and relax. Uh-uh. <laughs> wait, wait, you're leaving. But we barely had a chance to talk. Shoot, we haven't even bantered. Oh, we've bantered. We've bantered. Really? You're leaving already? But you just got here. Come on, stay a while longer. Oh, heaven's sakes. What's a while longer, Camel Frog? What's a while longer, Camel Frog? Oh, hey, I see you're all eyeballing my frosted cookies. No, actually, I'm eyeballing the door. I'm trying to muscle up my willpower a smidge. Ever tried to turn those down? It ain't easy. Uh, banter, banter, banter. Bye. You're leaving already? Thanks for stopping by, kiddo. Oh, I can't let you leave empty-handed. Here, have a bath towel wrap. Thank you. Feel free to stop by any time, kiddo. I'm usual. Phew, I didn't think we were ever going to get out of there. All right, well, that just puts us closer to where we were going anyway. All right, so we've been doing a little bit of work on the orchard. Okay, and we've set, we've set a little border over here by the river and added a few flowers and, and um, orange trees tea olive shrubs. We brought the walkway all the way up to the museum so that it's all one walkway down to, well, almost down to uh, where the, the community reading room is. So we'll have to extend that walkway. And it, it'll go because up here it has a jog to go three wide and then down here 
it'll have a job to go one wide. So that's that's okay. That'll look all right. And then we have these big areas over here. And I've put in some hedges um, with some iron benches. And then I was going to put trees like this. One tree here. One tree here. Oops, here. Come on, you can do it. And then one tree here. And then same over here. One tree here. Not here. One tree here. One tree here. And one tree here. So that they're a little staggered. And then the walkway will go into the drink um, the juice bar. And then the other walkway will meet up with the museum walkway. Now I was thinking of putting some trees here. But I think I'll just extend the, the tree. I think I'll put the trees on this side in this section and then put the shrubs on this side in this section. That might work. We'll have to try it out. And then over here, I'll have to section off some trees and maybe put a row of shrubs here by the walk um, going to the community reading room. And that way, all of these other empty spots can either have flowers or objects. And I'll probably put some objects in here, but I haven't decided really what I'm going to put in there with those. Um, I've just got a bunch of iron garden benches and stuff that I made with all the iron that I pulled out because I didn't have too many of these iron benches and that's what I really wanted because I thought that the green looked really good with the brown. So, um, I think, oh, and by the way, Isabel told us today that the mushrooms are out and about. So, uh, we've been finding mushrooms all over. Let's go check the Cherry Cherry Overlook and see um, if there's any mushrooms up here. And I know that um, we're not going to move these trees. So we're going to go ahead and pick these cherries so that we can move the other trees. And we won't be taking the fruit off them. We'll know exactly what they are when we look at them. So we'll go ahead and get the fruit off of these trees. There's a cherry. And there's a cherry. And I don't think I can, oh, oops. I don't think I can get back there. So I'll pull this bench out for a minute and go back and get that other cherry. Yay! All right, now we should have enough to move some trees. Hooray! Oh, there's some pear trees. Let's go ahead and move the pear trees. Oh, duh! I guess we have to eat our fruit first. Filling up on cherries. Uh, 
Okay, and then there's a couple of orange trees back here. Let's see. There's one. And there's another one back here. Oh, that's an apple. Where'd that orange tree go? There it is. And there's another orange tree, so let's eat one more of these. And if we find another pear tree on our way back to the museum, we'll use that too. Anyway, uh, we saw a lot of mushrooms uh, over in the forest. I haven't seen too many out and about in town or anything. But that would be nice to do some crafting and stuff with. Oh, I see I've... Hmm. Oh, well, we're here anyway. Okay. Let's see, let's do orange tree. Oh yeah, orange tree. And orange tree. Okay, and then we'll do pear tree. And pear tree. We need to find another pear tree. Okay, so how do you think that looks? I think it looks pretty good. Of course we can't get over there, but that's okay. You can have to go along the walkway. Let's see. I like it. And then there's plenty of room to get the fruit off of them once they, once you shake the tree, there's plenty of room for the fruits to fall. So we just need another pear tree. And then we'll keep thinking. We'll keep thinking. I know we're going to section this part off too, like I said. And let's see if I have some more. Yes, I do have some more hedges. So I was thinking, since the hedges are on this side over here, I'd make the hedges on this side, on the second part. Let's see how that looks. I don't think I have the same amount of space. Hmm. because I've got one, two, three, four. Let's see if we have four sections. I don't have my construction hat on, so let's, let's get that on. All right, so let's get our brick pattern. I think we'll have four. Oh no, we're only going to have three. Oh, that poses a problem, doesn't it? So I think... Hmm... I think we're going to need to change that up and make the sidewalk... jog yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Because the sidewalk comes out here. And we wanted it to go all the way up. But... It might have to jog. Meh. Alright. Let's see.
Nothing is lining up. <laughs> We need this to be four wide, so we're going to have to go up. I don't know if this is going to work out. We may have to rethink everything. Um, I might go up one more on that one. All right, so this one. Get our corner. And put it here. And then we'll take this one out. Alright, and then we'll get our side and run down here. <laughs> the best laid plans, I guess. I don't know, but we really need that to be the same number of spaces as the other section. So, let's try to get this to go. We're going to need... Let's just get this other section two for a little bit. All right, and then it's going to switch to just a solid one. So we're having to redo everything because we needed four squares over on the side to complement the other one and follow the same pattern. So this one is going to have to go to the other one, just the side. So this one and we'll worry about the transition up there later. Let's just see how this looks. So we go three to three, and that just leads right to the flowers. Well, that kind of clears up a problem we had over here with just that one open section. And then this one will be And then this one will be a corner. Well, I think it should carry on all the way over to here so that this one This one just needs to be solid, and this one needs to be solid, and 
then no this one needs to be solid no this one needs to be solid This one needs to be this. And then these need to be the side one, which is this and this. All right, so that leads up from the community reading room and goes over to Sandy's or goes up to the museum and there has to be a jog because um, because of the spacing let's see which one is that So this one needs to be this, and this one needs to be put in our shrubs. Keep missing a spot. That's like missing teeth. Come on. Shamelin, you can put a fence up. Okay, so we've got our hedge up. We've got our pathway tentatively. We may have to put shrubs over here. Well, hmm. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, we know now that we can continue with the four corners because this corner can go here. This corner can go here two spaces away and then we'll work our way back down the side and we'll have room for three trees. And maybe six trees. Oh, that would be another problem, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> trying to get everything to fit yikes <laughs> oops we do. we want that to be a corner so we want that to be this corner all right so once we have the walls in I guess we could just do three trees or maybe four. We'll have to see how it goes and we'll we'll continue working on that just to get a preliminary look at what it's going to look like. So
so we'll have the benches along here. We might even slide the bench down or, or sit on it. Slide the bench down so that if you want to sit, you can sit and then we'll get a couple of chairs and a table and bring them down here. Oh, I've got a bunch of t I've got a bunch of chairs. And we'll sit a chair here. Is that a white one? No, nope, good. And we'll sit a chair here. Oh, that's the white one. I knew I had a white one. I wasn't sure if I was going to have to buy them or make them, so... <laughs> okay. Alright, so I've got two white ones. Let's go pick up another one. Bench, table, chair. All right. Things are falling apart. And there we go. So we'll sit that there. That'll be a nice sitting area on the way to the museum. We may have to rethink this fence back here because I would like to be able to go through. And we may have to make it so that we can do that. But I like the three trees walkway and three trees. I think that looks really good. With the hedge. And then you come down here and you get the hedge again. We'll definitely have to think about this um, aspect of the of the um, of the build. And we'll keep working on it, but I think we've got a good start. We've got some good ideas flowing. And if we look at our inspiration again, we may be able to clarify some of our ideas that we're bringing in. So let's go over to the courtyard and check out who's hanging around, see who's awake after Halloween, the festivities carried on through the night. There's Penelope. Hey, I was just thinking about you. Hi there, my fabulous bestie. Guess what? I was playing single-player hide-and-seek, and I won! I'm so bored. <laughs> well, there's Fauna. She'll be willing to do something with you, I think. Good morning, and here's hoping it'll be a good day. Let's make today our best day ever. That sounds like a good idea. You girls are sweeping up the walkway. That's a good start. I had to plant these pumpkins over here, so we're going to have to dig those up. We had trouble finding Rattle last night. Uh, he tried to talk to us just when we started to talk to Jack, and he got bored waiting, and so he took off, and we had trouble finding him. But here he is today. Frogs rule. What's up, bestie? Great weather today, huh? Do you watch lots of TV? I sure do. There's so much stuff on. I can veg out all day and never get bored. And I don't mean just the shows. The commercials are just as good. In fact, there's this one series of gum ads with a plot that's got me hooked more than any real show I watch. <laughs> and I'll bet you chew that gum too, don't you? Okay, well, I think we've gotten rid of all the Halloween. And 
we're making progress on our orchard. We still have the area over by Fauna's house where Dora used to live. And that will have to become something too, won't it? We're trying to decide what we're going to put here. Not an amusement park, that's for sure. But we'll think of something. CJ's here on the island today. We don't have a camper, but we're going to we're going to be too busy to visit campers. We're going to be too busy to go fishing. We've got a lot of work on the island to do, so no time for fun and games today. And I hope you have an easier day than Shamelin's going to, and that your weather is wonderful. Fall is in full bloom, and those crisp mornings and warm days are just my favorite time of year. So please enjoy yourself today and come back and see us again. We'd love to have you. We'll be here waiting for you. Bye for now. Please join Shamelin and her neighbors, Pierce, Filbert, Camel Frog, Rattle, Sandy, Mitzi, Fauna, Dora, Penelope, and Dina. See you again soon.